Hello, in this video, I would like to show you the Dash Multi Mini Waffle Maker. So if you like mini waffles, but you get really tired of standing at your waffle maker making one tiny waffle at a time, this is the answer. And then notice too, it has some nice little drip channels there and can make some little small waffle sticks with the excess. So that's always fun to have if you have someone in your family who likes smaller finger foods. So let's put the box aside. In the box came the waffle maker and it was packaged nicely so that it comes safely. And then this envelope, which inside the envelope, they give you a little book. And this explains how to use the waffle maker, how to clean the waffle maker in case you've never had one. And then also gives some nice recipes. Okay, so this is kind of good. It gives you some classic ones, some, uh, if you're paleo, you've got that, banana bread. This one looks pretty nice for dessert. So a lot of nice um, little things come along with the waffle maker. So let's take a look at the maker. So here it is, and notice the two lights on the top. When it's plugged in, the red light will be on. When it's ready to cook, the green light is also illuminated. You see the green light is on, so it's ready to cook. So let me show you how to use it. First of all, one of the very most important things is safety, right? You always have to be safe in the kitchen. You don't want to get burned. So when you open this, you just want to open it with your arm to the side because the surface is hot and there is heat coming off of here. So do be careful that all of this is hot and no one should touch that. We're going to lightly spray it with a little bit of cooking spray. That keeps our batter from sticking. Here I have a big bowl of batter. It's nice if you have a little something with a pour spout. I don't have that. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in. You're going to fill them to about that full because they will squish. But remember, we have those channels. So even if we overfill it, that's okay. This waffle maker is supposed to be made for that. I'm going to overfill one on purpose. Let's see what happens. All right, so let's put our batter aside. We're going to close our lid and let it cook. So while it cooks, you know, you might think about some things that you like to have with waffles, right? Like waffles and maple syrup, or sometimes people have waffles for a savory meal, like chicken and waffles. That's a common meal, which happens to be what I'm making tonight because it's evening. It's not breakfast time. And I just got this today and I was so excited to use it. You can hear it. Come listen. You can hear it sizzling a little bit. So you know the waffles are cooking. So that's pretty exciting. And let me tell you what I did too, which this might be a helpful tip. I had a little bit of waffle mix, but I wanted to make a lot of waffles because these are perfect for making ahead, um, storing them in like a Ziploc bag or whatever type of storage you like to use and putting them in the freezer. And then you basically have, you know, there's some brands of waffles that are those toaster waffles, right? You've made your own toaster waffles. So you can pull them out, throw them in the toaster and have a meal again. So that's why I mixed up so much batter and I didn't have enough mix. So what I did was I looked at the recipe that they sent me in the little recipe book and I put my mix in, put in what I needed with that, and then made the recipe too. So I have both of those mixed together and it smells delicious. You see that steam coming off. So another thing that you will need along with your waffle maker is you'll need some type of utensil such as this um, to get the waffles out once they're done because you don't want to use metal on this type of surface. It's a non-stick surface. If you use metal, it'll scratch it up. So you don't want to do that. I'm just going to grab a plate because I think our waffles are going to be done here in just a second. They smell delicious. So I'm going to put my plate here and I really want to open it, but you know how it is with waffle makers, right? You're always a little bit worried. I'm thinking that the green light's going to come on when it's ready because that will show that it's heated up again. Although the book didn't say that. Let's just take a look. Ooh, yeah, they're close. I'm going to let them go just a second more because they, I think they need to be a little bit more browned. But they smell wonderful. So, you know, this is such a great machine because if you love waffles like I do and you just want to make a lot of waffles at once, maybe you don't want to make them Monday through Friday, right? Because you're busy. That's weekdays. The family has a lot going on. You can make a bunch of them on Sunday when you have time, eat some for breakfast, store a bunch of them in the freezer and still not stand here all day long, making one little tiny waffle at a time. These are also good for events. Like some people will do mini waffles for events because they cook fairly quickly. Um, so that's, that's a good thing to use them for. So if you're going to an event and you can cook four at a time, you can serve who, whoever is at your event much more quickly. Okay, come here. I think it's done. You see how the green light popped on? That's telling us it's done. Oh yeah, they look good. So let's take our spatula and look how nicely they come out. They're not sticking. Ooh, those feel nice. And you notice how we overfilled the one on purpose and look what happened. 
it did exactly what it was supposed to do and filled in the channel. And one thing I was thinking with these that might be really cool is to put some cinnamon and sugar on them or maybe you can glaze them and have like a little dessert stick. All right, so this one was overfilled, this one slightly underfilled. So, you know, you can get to, to where you can practice with it. This one's slightly overfilled too. But look, those came out really nice. This was the first batch. The more that I make, the more evenly browned they'll be. It's just, just because I just sprayed the, the waffle maker down. So if you're looking for a great waffle maker, I highly recommend this one, the Dash. Look how quickly we made four waffles. Now we only probably go through a few more and we'll have plenty of waffles for the week. Thank you for watching and good luck with your waffle making.